what exactly this gate is for CSC and DA. We can start preparation and how I mean we can excel while preparing. See, textbooks are there, standard uh, books for each subject. But I would suggest that just don't rely on the textbooks because it takes a lot of time. Uh, the population is shifting more towards corporate and less in IA. So this is I would say an advantage for you. Okay. Hello guys. I hope you are doing well. So today uh, I have a single digit rank planner and the best branch for you to decide for gate 2027. Okay, so guys, uh, first let us understand what exactly this gate is for CSC and DA. And I'll be starting my uh, discussion with the exam structure and weightage analysis. In the exam structure, see, three things are important. I mean, these are the three pillars. Firstly, syllabus and marking scheme. How actually these are done for gate exam. Then what is the difference between CSC and DA? Then overlapping topics. Okay, so definitely we have uh, certain overlapping topics, which is an advantage for you if you are giving in CSC, though you can also prepare for DA as well. Then weightage analysis, I mean, what are the high priority subjects, then past five years data and in the last exam trends. So these are really very important points before you are appearing for gate, you should have understanding what exactly actually the uh, structure is of gate. So guys, for example, this is just a subject wise weightage planner uh, for CSC. Now you can just see for 2024 and 2025 for shift one and two respectively, we have the subjects. See aptitude that is for 15 marks. That is for sure. It would come then engineering mathematics is also one of the important subjects. So I have just, I mean, ranked all these subjects and put all the subjects in the ranking order in the descending ranking order, right? So this is very important aptitude and mathematics. Okay. Both of these, you can just see the marks. 15 marks for aptitude that is set then mathematics in the 2024 shift one it was of eight marks and six marks respectively for shift two and then for 2025 seven and nine so you can just see this mathematics plays a very important role right then discrete maths six nine seven three then I mean I've already I mean placed this in the ascending uh, I mean descending order according to me right or according to the marks so you can just see here theory of computation that is also one of the important subjects five seven but in shift in two zero two five shift one two it is it is carrying good marks nine and seven similarly for computer organization programming and data structures computer networks DBMS algorithm operating system digital logic and compiler design right I mean all these are there you can just see the marks and the weightage so that I mean you only can just judge I mean what all subjects are important. Yes, then next I will be discussing the comprehensive syllabus coverage, right? Now for core CSC, you know, these subjects are very important. Data structures, DBMS and algorithm, OS, uh, theory of computations, right? So these subjects are important. And for DA, I would say probability and stats, DBMS and algorithm and AIML. These subjects are really very important, which holds a very good weightage. Okay. Then effective resource utilization, see how I mean uh, we can start preparation and how I mean we can excel while preparing. See textbooks are there, standard uh, books for each subject, but I would suggest that just don't rely on the textbooks because it takes a lot of time. Better what we, we can do is we can just go to online platforms where such as GFG where we can just see the video lectures, notes and everything. Then we have a GFG PYQ question that is a huge questionnaire made by the mentors. So you can just see and solve all these questions so that would give you uh, a confidence right it, that would boost a confidence okay then after that analyzing previous year papers now after analyzing no what you have to actually do is you have to identify the trend I mean the trend is I mean what all concepts are uh, majorly asked and repeatedly asked first you have to identify this so trend identification is one of the skills that you have to acquire I mean after seeing 100 200 300 questions no gradually you will get Okay, I mean, how uh, the uh, trend is getting affected or how the trend is changing or I mean, what all questions are repeating, then difficulty level. I mean, what all part is, dif uh, I mean, uh, I mean, the questions of what all subjects are asked at what difficulty level, that is also one of the things that you have to uh, check. Then the common mistakes you do that one of the biggest common mistake that you do is while calculating. I mean the errors which you make, uh, which you make while calculation. Okay. So that you have to avoid. So I mean, these three pillars are there while analyzing the previous year papers that you should definitely look. Okay, then now uh, let comes, uh, let us come to the planning part. Now see how we have to plan. Firstly, you just see how much time is left. Okay. And yes, this rule always holds true. Start early. That's the biggest advantage you can have. Okay. So early to start is one of the biggest advantage. Then 
number of hours i would definitely say that assign 5 to 6 hours daily to your schedule specifically for grade preparation that would definitely give you a single digit rank then finish syllabus because uh, anything could be asked from any corner that is for sure you can't predict i mean this question would be asked or this concept would be asked so definitely finish the whole syllabus that would be an advantage for you then yes revision because this syllabus for any branch let it be mechanical civil cs it for any branch syllabus is very i mean lengthy so revision is required so prepare short notes and then mock test after giving then at least check yourself i mean how much are you able to solve in the real world uh, environment okay in that real gate environment okay so yes structure study schedule and time management see timetable should be made okay after planning a timetable should be made a, a balanced time for all these subjects yes this then weekly targets are to be set okay so that you have to decide what exactly the target you are setting for yourself because every see every human being is unique so uh, just set the realistic goals that you can actually cover then revision is one of the key okay now i would just say mastering problem solving and test making see practicing questions is one thing then time management during uh, i mean solving the problem is the second thing then mock test that is the third thing that you have to do and yes performance analysis after that just analyze yourself i mean what all concepts were there which you lacked okay so that is also very important so these are the four pillars while make uh, i mean while problem solving and test taking i mean all these four points should be there in your mind okay then yeah i'll be just discussing regarding the branches i mean what are good options for you for csc yes we have software developer then computer system engineer web developer hardware hardware engineer i mean these are highly paid jobs okay i mean they are being paid very good okay so i mean these are few good options then yes mathematical and computer science okay so we have game theory one of the very uh, i mean demanded uh, in in demand branch or in demand domain then stock market again i think yes you should know then risk analyst and researchers and and nowadays i mean researchers are also in very high demand because we are we have very less of good researchers publishing good papers publishing uh, good journals or good books okay so this is also a very good field where you can go yes then electronics ec telecom engineer r and d software engineer electronic design engineer and ies yes i have pasted ies because now uh, people are giving less i mean uh, less focus on ies gradually uh, the population is shifting more towards corporate and less in ies so this is i would say an advantage for you okay i know uh, the seats are getting less but yes since the population is decreasing so i would say that this is an advantage for you so you can just think that is ies better for you or not yes then electrical engineering we have power engineering uh, power engineer public sector engineers i think in psus we can go robotics engineer ies robotics this actually is a mechanical domain but yes uh, the electrical engineers are also uh, i mean uh, heavily recruited in this robotics branch for the plc uh, i mean for the controllers plc and i mean uh, circuits as well okay yes then civil engineering we have water resource engineers public sector engineers building engineers and ies so again i have placed ies so i'll just leave this to you you just think yes then mechanical we have aerospace engineer one of the highly uh, i mean the in demand branch automotive engineers then nowadays this cad uh, technicians or i mean big companies you know such as boeing they are heavily recruiting uh, the uh, cad technicians okay so though they are not so uh, i mean lucrative or highly paid but nowadays the demand has suddenly increased okay and yes ies okay so uh, this is just my qr code uh, and i am data science expert with a robust background in machine learning predictive analytics and ai integration in engineering i am a triple it bangalore alumni so you can just follow me here and guys i just uh, want to say you that if you are uh, i mean uh, studying eagerly and if you are actually serious no then just don't wait uh, and wait for the opportunity to strike just create your opportunity okay thank you so much guys